I have not learned how to beat my illness. I have not learned how to cure my illness, but I have learned how to live with my illness. We live in a world now that we just, it feels like as if we always have to be on. I have learned to cope with my illness by saying, okay, it will pass. The little victories come from understanding that it is perfectly fine. You have every right to take care of yourself, to take a day off. It may take a day, it may take two days, but it will pass. Similarly, I have learned to celebrate a good day. Do things that make you happy, things that, that, that set your soul on fire, you know, the, the things that you love. I love tea, so tea for me is my self-care time, so I would have some tea, I'd disconnect from the internet, I'd call a friend up, I'd call my family, I'd pet my cats, or I'd run outside. Movement is my medicine. For me, moving every single day, being in nature, getting outside, moving in my body is something that triggers a different chemical response. And when I am feeling like things are getting dark, when I don't understand what's going on in my own head, I know the best thing, the first thing I can do is get outside and go for a walk. It seems really simple and it is not going to fix things. It is not going to completely heal me, but it is a big step for me every single day to keep my mental wellness in check. I have learned how to not make a bad day worse. I cherish a good day without fearing what happens if tomorrow's not a good day. And that is an acquired skill. You have to learn to live for the moment, live for the day, and don't fear tomorrow. Ultimately, you need to take care of yourself. You, you have to love yourself. Bell Let's Talk Day. For every text, phone call, or tweet you send, Bell will donate five cents to mental health agencies across Canada. So join the global conversation and support Canada's mental health. W. Ross will also be participating in the conversation by practicing different stress busters in the student center at lunch. Come on by and give one a try. Let's talk. Good morning, Debbie Ross. Today is January 25th, Bell Let's Talk today, so don't forget to everything you tweet, text, anything, use the hashtag Let's Talk. And first up, we have a food committee announcement saying that the food committee will meet today at 12.05 to 12.45 in Mr. Boyd's room. The food committee members, please come with your thoughts on what you like on, on the menus and what you and your peers would like to see changed and some healthy eating ideas that they could try. And up next, we have a yearbook announcement. Have nothing to do this lunch hour? Are all your friends busy with one activity or another? I know the feeling. If you want to get involved with the school yearbook, or you're just looking for something new and interesting to do, then why not come check out the Audible Otter Meeting at 12.15 in the Communications Room, across from Mr. Huffman's classroom. See you there. And next up we have a senior choir announcement saying that senior choir tonight is for the boys only. The tenors will be in the choral room with Miss Miss Kinnett, and the boys will be in Mr. Boyd's, and the bassist, sorry, will be in Mr. Boyd's room tonight. Miss Plant and Hackborn doing book club. What's book club? Book club is a club where you read books. When is it happening? Wednesdays at lunch in the library. What do I need to bring? Bring your own device and we'll hook you up with a book. Yeah, book club. Miss Plant and Hackborn doing book club. That's right, folks. If you haven't guessed it already, that sip chips are being sold today in Miss Della's classroom this afternoon from 12.45 to the end of the day. And is the usual prices, so three small for $1.50, or you can get one jumbo for $1.50. Up next, we have a student council announcement. Yo, bro, why are you graffitiing on the wall? Because I want to. What are you going to do about it? Well, it's illegal, and it's not a good thing to do. You can just come to the student center at lunch every Wednesday for the next three weeks and graffiti on their wall. Seriously? That's totally dope, but won't I get into shims? No, man, no shims. It's an art event. They put up boards and silk for everyone to do art. Seriously, what time is this? 
1215 for the next three Wednesdays. Dang, I'll be there. Peace out, homeboy. There will be Aquafit tonight in the pool right after school. So if you want to go join, go to Aquafit, it's, again, it is right after school in the pool. And up next, we have sports. This is your Wilkes Hall Sports Report with Scoop Reed, Lefty List, Microphone Rules, and the new recruit, Hometown Harris. Good morning, sports fans. This is Hometown Harris with your morning sports report. The AA Goalball League will hold their tryouts tonight in the Otter Dome starting at 7.30. The AA League is for students who wish to play goalball on a recreational level. League Commissioner Mr. Mannon is hoping to have six teams in this year's league. One franchise has already been awarded to the boys of Unit 312 of senior residents. Members of this team will include Christian B, Calvin G, Jake P, Nick P, John A, Jacob A, and their captain, Kyle C. Last year, they were known as the Jackson Six, but Kyle tells me they are looking at a new name, which will be unveiled at a later time. Any member of the high school team that is interested in helping to coach the AA League is asked to contact Mr. Mannon. Volunteer hours will be credited for helping to coach. That's it for sports. I'm Hometown Harris, and I am out of here. And for your Environment Canada weather forecast today, it looks like we'll reach a high of plus four outside today. It'll be mainly cloudy with a 60% chance of showers or a drizzle this morning. And the fog patches will dissipate this morning as well. Tonight we'll be going down to a low of plus two, so staying positive overnight. With a 70% chance of showers in the evening, fog patches will develop through the evening into in the evening through to the overnight. Winds will start from the southeast at 20 kilometers an hour, becoming then switching to the southwest at 30, gusting up to 50 kilometers an hour late this evening. Temperatures will rise up to possibly plus five and then fall later this evening. And currently it is plus two degrees outside. The sun will set at 5.24 p.m. and the winds are at 13 kilometers an hour from the southwest. And looking outside is mainly overcast, a little bit chilly this morning as you're walking coming to school or going to co-op so if you're heading out bundle up but it looks like it'll be a great day and just looking ahead i hate to say this but it looks like we'll begin some snow and back into this january weather and that is all for your announcements today so everyone have a wonderful